Only 7% of indie games make more than $100,000. So do you want to make a profitable game and be from the top 7%? Because there are more than 73,000 games on Steam and the competition is high. In this video, you will learn the essential knowledge you need to make such a game. Let's start with the numbers to understand more. Don't worry, it won't take that long, so bear with me. While it's only 7% of indie games who make it, it's different from genre to genre. Let me explain. For example, when we focus only on villain protagonist indie games, the percentage changes to 36 who made more than $100,000. For turn-based game, 31% made over 100k, and so on. So it's basically not 7% depending on your game genre. Not to mention that there are a lot of shitty indie games that that were made for fun so your chance is really good if you are aiming for a specific genre and settings this is the most important thing i don't think indies spend enough time knowing about genre 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 and that leads us to the second point you need to plan for your game Write down your game genre, mechanics, story, and graphic, whether if it's low poly, stylized, or realistic. There is a lot to do in the planning phase. If there is a video about it in my channel, I will put it here, so go watch it. Also, if you already know how to plan and have some experience, I recommend you watch this video by Benjamin. The part I liked the most is this graph because it's the same conclusion that I had from my research, which is the time and effort you need to add systems or contents. As you add more systems, aka game mechanics like inventory system and gathering system, it becomes time consuming and challenging to make it work with each other. However, adding another level or general content demands the same amount of time and effort for implementation. Planning is what makes your life easier and without it, your chances of making a profitable game will decrease and might reach the bottom. You don't have to write 20 pages about your game, a simple one to three pages is enough more on that later in another video now let me clear some wrong thoughts a lot of new devs have before moving on first the more gameplay time you have in your game the more profitable it will be this is absolutely wrong think of shitty games that have more than 20 hours of gameplay time still no one likes it a short well-made game will be appreciated and loved by the community even if it's six hours long another thing is my game must be realistic or stylized i won't talk much about this because it's all over the internet that all styles can generate 100k plus my game must have a lot of mechanics to be worth what i am charging again this is not true imagine ordering a sandwich that has fish meat and chicken at the same time it's not gonna work and the chef will tell you that he did put everything so why you didn't like it the key that i'm gonna share with you next will be enough to make a game that worth $100,000. So let's start with the real thing. So after you plan for a specific genre and settings, you already got the first step right. Then you have to decide what mechanics will your game have. The trick here is to try to develop your game around a certain mechanic and if it's new it will be better the best example will be portal 2 the whole game is focusing on the portal mechanic if it was a side thing you could do it would lose its value another new example is lords of the fallen where you can switch between two worlds and this is called the core mechanic without a core mechanic and another thing i'm gonna talk about soon your game is without an identity and no one will play another copy of a normal game the core mechanic will be up to you to decide but what is the other thing i mentioned earlier before that if you liked the video so far subscribe for more game dev content this will really motivate me to continue on this mission and will be much appreciated now back to the video well it's easy to guess after watching all other successful games and it's the first part that creates an identity for your game it's your game art style and theme whether your game is 2d or 3d having a unique art style is crucial for standing out in a crowded market so the recipe is a unique art and a core mechanic with an interesting story and careful planning to avoid scope creep this will set you on the right path towards success with this recipe your success rate will rise to the sky don't forget that at the end you are a solo developer so it's logical that you will have a hard time doing that that's why my advice for you if you are beginner is to use assets make small games and keep training till you can make your commercial game or 
your dream game by following this recipe you are very close to making your first game that worth more than one hundred thousand dollars but hey i just talked about how to make the game not how to make money from it and let's be real a lot of developers like me don't want to create small games that are unrelated to our goal and frankly even if you made your dream game it's hard to reach 100k that's why i made a video explaining all methods and how to monetize your game so don't miss it out it will make your journey a lot easier see you soon